everyone. So today we're going to start a two day long project on the artist Richard Diebenkorn. So we're going to learn a little bit about abstract principles and we're going to do a project that relates to his work. For this project you will need paper, a ruler, pencil, pens, anything that you can color with, and you're also going to need something that you can take pictures on. So it can be your uh, phone or a camera, anything that you can take pictures on. Um, so we will get started. Diebenkorn was a painter associated with the abstract expressionist movement. The work we'll be looking at today is a series of landscapes from California. In these paintings, Diebenkorn is looking at landscapes from above and breaking up its elements into geometric shapes. He takes the natural landscape and abstracts it into more simplified shapes and colors. As a result, we have an image that communicates the basic colors and contours of the land in a different but more straightforward way. Diebenkorn gives us an abstracted image that is based on reality. All right, so now that you know a few things about how Diebenkorn worked and the principles that he worked with, we are going to create our own abstract images. So what we're gonna do is we are going to take pictures and then we're gonna transfer those pictures into an abstract composition. So the pictures that we're going to take need to be of an object or a scene around your house that you're going to zoom in on and abstract. So the pictures we're taking, they're gonna be up close and you're not gonna be able to tell exactly what it is. So I'll show you a few examples of the pictures I took. So you can see in these pictures, you can kind of tell what they are, but they're zoomed in enough that it's abstracted and you just see the lines and where things intersect. So I want you to take nine of these pictures and save them, and then tomorrow we're going to translate them into a drawing. And our finished project is going to look something like this. So take those pictures, get ready, and then I will see you tomorrow to do the drawing. See you soon.